Litecoin is on fire. Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video I'll be doing a price prediction technical analysis on Litecoin. I'll, I'll be show, showing with you my th price prediction for short term to mid term. Also guys I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on Litecoin long term. I'll be looking at some news for Litecoin that might, might be affecting the price of Litecoin. So guys, um, I've been sharing on Twitter about my thoughts on Litecoin um, so if you bought Litecoin in my previous video or when I've been tweeting for a couple of days you should be sitting on some nice profits. Tron and ICX were the other two coins that's been really good in the past few days I've posted about it and showed you where I took profits but let's get into the video for Litecoin. So guys Litecoin is forming a head and shoulders pattern. Um, I was keeping an eye on it but I wasn't expecting the break, I was trading here, I'll, I mean I'll, ma I'll make the charts clearer, I'll share with you uh, when I got in first. So I, I bought Litecoin around this level, there was good confluence, and uh, Fibonacci level conf uh, confluence, good resistance and that's where I bought my Litecoin and since then guys it moved up and I've taken half off. Would I? buy here and um, no I wouldn't because it could it looks like it could break down although if you are an investor or looking at midterm targets Litecoin is looking really good in the short term it might be pulling back if it gives me the pullback I might buy Litecoin at this level but I'd I want to I want Litecoin to pull back it might not give me the pullback i missed out on this rally because it didn't give me the pullback but make sure you do not fomo in guys because when you fomo in that's when you lose your money so make sure you do not fomo in guys let the market come to you so for Litecoin what I'm looking at is it needs to close above this level tonight it could pull back but I want to see Litecoin close above this kind of the head or shoulders level so that's where I'm looking at for Litecoin the midterm targets guys for Litecoin I said $50 and I'm targeting this level um, it will face some resistance around the 50% Fibonacci level so I'll draw the the other resistance that I see yes yeah, so around around that level there is some resistance here as well so I'll draw a trend line here but I'm expecting Litecoin to hit potentially that kind of the $50 mark if it can get above this so I'm expecting Litecoin to pull back slightly and if you are I'm still in the Litecoin position I, I expect it to go higher but it could see a short term pullback before it moves up so those are my two targets for Litecoin guys so Technical, technically Litecoin is looking good. Let's look at some of the reasons, fundamental reasons. Again, I do not try, I do not trade on fundamental news. I always wait for price action. Um, but fundamentally, guys, Litecoin has seen some good uh, news come out. So Litecoin to dollar rate established an intraday high at thirty-seven dollars on a bounce from near near-term ascending trend line. And the renewed buying sentiment came three days after OKX, famous cryptocurrency exchange, launched Ethereum and Litecoin perpetual swaps. So that could be a reason why Litecoin is seeing nice price action and some renewed interest. Another reason for this could be that Litecoin. Um, let's have a, let me find out what I wanted to share with you. So this news, guys, Litecoin Lightning Network has uh, just surpassed 100 active nodes. So this is another positive news for Litecoin. And um, fundamentally, guys, um, Litecoin. I was disappointed on Litepay. I mean, if you follow, if you've been following me, I was a massive advocate for Litecoin. I was a massive fan, and not just a fan. I liked what they were doing. And since Litepay, they've had a few failures and Charlie Lee drama of selling and all of that I've kind of fell out slightly in love of uh, with love with Litecoin again it's still a coin that I like is better than or well, 90% of the coins and um, it's not my top five do you know it's not in my top five but it's still a good coin and when it gives opportunities technically it's looking good positive news is coming out I will get in so make sure you look at the price action guys if you are not a trader you could look to buy Litecoin and now or it or with a, with a bit of a pullback and um, 
Uh, but make sure, I mean, I said this, do not FOMO in because people were trying to say, oh, I'm going to buy in now. But I said, do not FOMO in at that 35 level and look at what happened. It did give us that pullback, guys, where we could, so we, uh, people were buying around there. They would have been stopped out. I got in around there and it was a great trade, guys. On the hourly, it moved back to the moving average volume. The indicators were looking good and it was a great entry. It's a good trade. So those are my thoughts on midterm guys. Litecoin could easily see this. I mean, if you're not, if you're not, if you're trading or buying, you, I'm sure you've heard of the head and shoulder pattern, and it, it's broken. It people, you could attempt to buy at the resistance, but wait for price action. Now it's moved up massively, so there could be a pullback. But this head and shoulders pattern is a strong uh, potential reversal pattern, so it could move higher. Um, long term, guys, there could be a leg down. We need to keep an eye out on Bitcoin again. I'm not an Elliot wave theory I'm, I'm learning Elliott wave I'm not an expert on Elliott wave but some of the people that share Elliott wave theory they're saying it's gonna jump up to this level and then there could be another kind of flush down to get rid of all the weak hands and then we see that price up so that's kind of the long-term view I'll make a long-term price prediction video for Litecoin because a, a lot of my fans on my YouTube channel like Litecoin so I'll make a long-term video but in January this is what I'm seeing for Litecoin guys and um, I will be updating things can change in crypto so I will be updating a lot I'll try to update on YouTube but I'll definitely update on my Twitter so you make sure you follow me on there guys hopefully this helps guys this is what I'm looking uh, for Litecoin again if it breaks uh, higher 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 lows and starts forming lower highs and lower lows then I will get out but I'll I'll, I'll, I'll update you guys on on the um, on my Twitter so two things that I'd like to say to you guys is um, I am still in a position I will get out if probably it breaks kind of this uh, this level the 32 to 30 range and I'm looking to buy back around 35 maybe 34 around that range I will look to buy buy some back maybe at the again that's a 236 to 382 level um, but again I'll wait for price action that's just what I'm looking at now it, things change in crypto quite rapidly so I'll try to update you guys on Twitter and if you want Litecoin to the midterm you could potentially buy some with a with a big stop loss um, but if you're a trader then you could look for better entries so thank you very much for watching this video guys I hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel also guys I'll be posting a lot more videos now I'll try to update you guys daily and um, later on I've got a few things on but I'll try to up, uh, give you a full crypto update and um, if not this is the Litecoin update guys and then I'll be back again tomorrow with another great video so make sure you subscribe to my channel also guys I'm doing XRP giveaway previously I've done Litecoin giveaways now I'm doing XRP giveaways so make sure you subscribe to my channel smash that like button Turn on the notification button and leave your XRP address below to win $250 uh, worth of XRP. So thank you very much guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.